What follows is a point-to-point -point description of what I call Sloppy Joe. It's my prototype plasma cutter. You'll see why it's called that shortly. The diode bridges that you'll be using will be smaller epoxy packs rated at 50 amps or more, and I suggest using two of these. The diodes shown here are connected in a full wave manner. These have two inputs that are AC and two outputs, plus and minus. I'll be moving fast through the connections. If you need to, you can rewind and rewatch any part of this videotape as often as you need. Most of the tools are basic. One item that you may not have will be an acetylene to braze the air fittings. You can have someone do it for you, or you might look out and find the correct fittings at a welding supply. Acetylene, machine screws, wire in the crimping tool, screwdrivers, wire nuts, drill bits, and of course you will need a drill. And you'll need the tap and drill for the 1024 machine screws. Here is the 240 volt input line power that goes to the AC input on your diodes. And this is the positive connection, which the positive connection then goes to the positive connections on your capacitor bank wired in parallel. The other positive connection goes through your water resistor in one side, at a different connection, and then up to your contactor. And from your contactor, it then connects to of course your work clamp. Okay, now for the negative connection from the diodes, you will connect a high voltage capacitor which will, between the positive and negative which will suppress high voltage spikes. Your negative line then goes out and comes down and connects to your negative side of your capacitor bank. Another connection runs through series inductors. All four of these in my case gives me a single inductance because they're all hooked together. From there the output goes and ties to a terminal block. And then from there the negative line is connected to the electrode connection on your torch.